Hello and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you how to install mods. Uh, this is only for the single player version. Um, the uh, installing mods in multiplayer is a bit more complex. I'll get into that later. But um, yeah, so I'm going to be showing you how to install mods for Minecraft in Linux. Um, and first thing we're going to do is go over to this um, form page. This is a good place to start. Um, I'll put a link to this in the description. Uh, this is Rasugami's page. Um, he makes some amazing mods. They're usually pretty stable, um, so you shouldn't have any trouble getting any of these to install. He also makes a mod compatibility mod, which uh, just makes uh, mods play nice with other mods. Uh, make sure there's no um, conflicts in between them. So uh, yeah, we're gonna download his mod loader, which is what I was just talking about, and a, uh, a mod to try out. So we're going to scroll down and here's mod loader here. You're going to go ahead and download that from the direct download. I wouldn't trust that ad fly crap. Uh, it's pretty strange. Anyway, and uh, one of his mods. He has a bunch of amazing mods. And one of my favorite is the uh, Biosphere mod right here. So you can download this one or another one if you want to. Or any other mod you can think of or find. Um, just kind of watch out for the um, Windows mods. Um, the ones that are Windows only. They usually they usually come in executables. Um, people don't seem to understand that Minecraft is a uh, cross-platform game, but uh, yeah. Anyway, just kind of watch out for that. Once you get um, your files downloaded, just go to your downloads directory and also um, to your home folder. Um, we're gonna hold Control and hit H to show hidden files and folders in the home folder, and um, we're gonna find dot Minecraft. There it is. Open that, then open the bin folder. Here you'll see a minecraft.jar file. You're going to right click this and open with the archive manager. You're going to do the same for mod loader. And you're going to select all the files and drag them over. And that's it for installing mod loader. You can go ahead and close that. Um, you're also going to search for in the minecraft.jar um, window here, you're going to search for a folder named. Um, what was it? Uh, Meta-inf. Yeah, that was it. Um, the Meta-inf folder is... Um, it has something to do with some conflicts or something, but you're just going to find that folder and completely delete it. I'm not sure exactly why or how that works. Um, I'll open up another uh, jar that I have and uh, show you what the folder looks like. Uh, I think it's... I'm pretty sure it's Meta-inf in all caps. Yeah, in all caps. So um, just go ahead and delete that. And next, go ahead and open up your mod and archive manager and copy these files over too just like so alrighty you are done installing the mod that was very easy as you can see we're gonna go ahead and launch minecraft to make sure it's working I'm gonna resize this so it'll be um, a little quicker hopefully we'll get a little better performance out of it while recording single player I'm gonna delete this and generate a new world now uh, as this mod says um, in the description on his page um, when you generate a new world it's gonna generate spheres and everything so I'm gonna generate a fresh world to prove that uh, the mod is installed correctly so I'm gonna pause it while it generates Alright, my world is finished generating. Here it is here. Um, we're going to go ahead and open it. And as you can see, uh, we're in a big biosphere. See the glass all around. Um, lots of pigs. I'm going to try to go over to the next biosphere. Hopefully it won't lag too badly. Ugh. I don't want too badly, it's just kind of freezing every now and again. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of a um, snowy area, snowy forested area. Each uh, each sphere has its own um, its own weather and whatnot. And uh, we have some dogs here, very nice, or wolves, rather. Uh, but yeah, that um. The mod appears to have worked perfectly. So yeah, that's just a basic outline for installing mods. 
like I said, watch out for the uh, Windows only mods. I think there are so also some uh, Mac only mods, but a lot of them are just um, the dot class files that you need inside of zip folders, which is perfect. So uh, yeah, just keep your eyes open for stuff like that, and I uh, hope this helped. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. It's usually pretty quick. I'm pretty good about getting back to people. Um, so yeah, um, hope this helped, and until next time, guys, see ya. Oh, I almost forgot to show you that um, meta-inf folder, so I'll show you that real quick. And that's it. That's the folder you're going to delete in your minecraft.jar archive. So, uh, yeah. Sorry I forgot to do that the first time, or show you that the first time.